What is going up YouTube? What is going up? What is going up right now is the supercharger is going into this car. That's what's happening. Um, I'm out here with my dad and my cousin. And so far we are getting the intercooler mounted. So we got the front bumper pulled off. And um, while we have that off, I'm actually gonna put on a front splitter as well. But uh, I'll give you a rundown on what's going on. All right, everybody, this is my cousin Ted. He offered to so jump nice. in here and uh, give us a hand. So far, got the wheels pulled off so we could get to the bumper. Got the bumper off. We do have the intercooler mounted. Right here. My dad is hooking me up with some brackets so uh, the intercooler is nice and tight in here. Yeah, the, yeah, just to get under there. Well, let's put the bolt on first. Uh, Say what's up, huh? Here I am working with this guy. Let's see what happens. So, overall experience with this car, how do you like it? Oh my gosh, this thing's a fun thing to work on. I'm gonna tell you what, I didn't realize how easy it was to pull apart until you started showing me. Mm -hmm. And once we did that, ah, it's it's cake. Everything comes apart easy, it goes back together easy. Really a dream to work on. I can't wait to get this thing running. Okay guys, so this just came in. Um, I got a fresh slave cylinder here um, for the clutch, the LS7's clutch that I'm about to put on. Um, so every day I'm gonna be working the bits and pieces on this car until it's ready to go in for the tune. Um, Jesus was also supposed to be here, but he injured himself yesterday. So I gave him the day off. And I got some dirt on my nose. Anyway, um, he's gonna be here the next couple days to help me do this clutch and it's gonna be good. Okay, so um, we got the intercooler in. My dad made these cool little brackets, if you guys can see that. So it's a solid as if it came from the factory. And uh, yeah. All right guys, so we got the intercooler in, kind of mocked up. We mocked up uh, the heat exchanger lines. And uh, so for tomorrow, what I will be doing is putting the heat exchanger pump on there, um, wiring that up and getting the whole front end put back together. And uh, then uh, unbolting the exhaust and getting the clutch all prepped to go in as well. Thanks Ted for your help. Of course man, anytime. Be excited, come on. You're about to ride in the beast. I can't wait. <laughs> next week, next week. It's day two. What are we doing today, Ted? Uh, we're gonna connect these hoses, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get the heat exchanger pump um, plumbed up. So, so far I got it mounted. And then uh, get the hoses connected. So, I got the heat exchanger mounted, um, AKA the intercooler. I got the pump mounted. Um, I'm gonna connect the hoses and kind of mock up how the other hose is gonna run. And um, then once that's done, I'm actually gonna just proceed to the clutch before I tear into the engine. Okay, so I figured out where I wanted to put my pump for the heat exchanger, and now we're about to unbolt the tranny um, for the clutch swap. Fun stuff. <laughs> it's an amazing, amazing job. I can't believe you're doing this, but hey, you know what, a nice, beautiful day like this, and when we get that thing running, oh my gosh. I have no clue if this thing just doesn't fly. I'm telling you, hang on for round two. Yeah, he's super random, so, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, back to work. All right, day three, we are um, swapping the flywheel ring gear onto the LS7 flywheel. Just gonna heat it up, get the torch. Yeah, fire. He looks really tired anyway. <laughs> Dad, are you tired? Huh, a little bit, I'm just four out. <laughs> Long night last night. Okay, today we're gonna get the flywheel clutch pressure plate, and I already got the slave cylinder put into the tranny, so I'm uh, gonna get the tranny mounted, and then finally gonna start on swapping in the LSA charger onto the engine. When you guys are doing this, make sure that you don't um, get it to its red, and then always watch your teeth. Your teeth will let you indicate when it's getting too hot. When it gets nice and warm, you don't want it to turn red. And you want to keep this heat concentrated on the outer perimeter of the ring gear 
So it travels to the inside. You don't heat the main plate. So if you don't heat the main plate, it won't expand. Never hold it in one place. Especially because I got a cutting tip on the torch, not just a regular heating torch. And because of that, I have to keep moving because if you heat it too long, it'll get hot and molten and it'll be ready for cutting. So if you see me rolling around. If you're familiar with the torch, you'll know how to do it. If you're not, ask somebody who has some kind of experience with them. Otherwise, you're going to be ruining some stuff. Okay, into day three. We have the transmission, clutch, flywheel, pressure plate all installed. And uh, now we got to do the drive shaft and the exhaust. And as for the drivetrain, that will be finished. This is number, let's see, day number four. I've been slacking real bad on posting any kind of video, mainly because I've been fighting the clutch. Um, day two, we dropped the tranny, we got the clutch all going, and my phone is ringing in the background. So, we installed the clutch. Okay, my wife just called, she says she's heading home. Anyway, uh, we got the clutch installed, um, put the new slave, uh, bled it and everything, but it was not engaging so what happened was that the new slave was actually I believe an eighth shorter than the old slave cylinder so I had to go back in drop the clutch again and well drop the transmission again and uh, put in a shim and make it work so now we're day four I got the supercharger dialed in finally got the bear or the pulley pressed on to the onto the snout and now I'm finally gonna break down the engine a bit and start the official install. Alright guys so I've been diligently working on this car. Um, let me kind of give you a rundown. I got the Olsen's Customs pulley set up all on the car. Um, that was kind of a pain. Um, you gotta remove a little bit of stuff and it doesn't exactly go in smooth with the water pump. But other than that like it, it wasn't bad, don't don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad, but uh, it wasn't the smoothest thing I've done so far. Sorry my lighting isn't the best, but I kind of got it mocked up right now. This is not going to be a final yet, this is just kind of seeing how everything fits. Um, I still got to do the fuel line, I still got to pin the crank, um, and then pretty much bolt everything back together. Oh, and also I need to relocate the power steering over to this wall here. But other than that, nah, we're making progress. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this video. Um, I'll be working on this tomorrow, so I'll be filming again um, tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting the progress. And uh, remember to like this video if this helped you out at all. And uh, subscribe. Thanks guys.